Dad and Kids Play One. What's good, everybody? I'm Dad from Dad and Kids Play One, and this is Zangief Move List from Marvel vs. Capcom 2. We're going to go over all Zangief moves and discuss tips and strategies to help you learn to play the character better. Also, this is another subscriber requested video, so with that being said, let's get started. Okay, starting off this list is the Spinning Power Driver. The Spinning Power Driver is a move where Zangief grabs the opponent and spins them around while doing the Power Driver. To do the move, do a 360 motion on the joystick and press any punch button. Light version. This move is Zangief's signature move and is what he's mostly known for. The light punch version does great damage, while the fierce punch variation does a little more. And get this, you can even combo a standard light punch into a spinning power driver. There we go. The spinning power driver can be performed in mid-air as well. Keep in mind that if you miss or whiff a spinning power driver, then Zangief will go into this animation and he will be left open for a brief period. Also, the spinning power driver is a throw that cannot be tech hit from. Up next is the spinning lariat. This move is where Zangief spins around with both of his arms extended. To do the move, press both punch buttons. You can move Zenki forwards and backwards while performing this attack. The spinning lariat can hit up to four times and has the ability to allow Zangief to pass through projectiles. This move can be done in mid-air and has excellent juggle capabilities. With all that said, Zangief can still be caught with low attacks and his legs are vulnerable while doing this move. The kick version of the spinning lariat works similar to the punch variation with a few differences. To do this version of the attack, press both kick buttons. The kick version of the spinning lariat has a shorter duration than the punch version as Zangief spin at a faster rate. This move only hit once as it knocked the opposition backwards upon contact. The kick lariat can be done in mid-air as well. Also, this version of the move will allow Zangief to pass through sweeping attacks while leaving his upper body vulnerable when performing the move. To do the running power bomb, do a 360 motion plus any kick button from medium range. Zangief will charge at the enemy and it looks like this. If he grabs them, he will do a running power bomb. While this move does good damage, keep in mind you have to be at the right range while doing the move. Otherwise, Zangief will most likely miss the throw. So you definitely don't wanna do that. To do the atomic suflex, do the same command, but be very close to the opponent. See, I wasn't close enough. I have to be all the way. There we go. And that's how it looks. Zangief would do a German into a suflex. While the atomic suflex does more damage than the running power bomb, I like the power bomb a bit more. Looking back on Street Fighter 2, Zangief didn't have this move until Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo was released. Anyways, the Bash and Flag allows Zangief to swap fireballs with the Energy Glove. To do the move, do a Dragon Punch motion plus any punch button. And this is how it looks. Also, this move will allow Zangief to close the distance between the opponent and himself. The light punch version of the attack will move Zangief close, while the first punch version will move him even closer. 
if you time the bashing flat just right, it is quite possible to swap a projectile then go into a spinning power driver from out the attack. But just like with everything else, it all boils down to positioning and timing. The aerial Russian slam is a command grab that behaves like an anti-air. To do the attack, do a dragon punch motion plus any kick button. The light kick version of the attack is mostly vertical, while the fierce kick covers great distance, as you can see. Do it again. All right. This move is great for unsuspecting opponents who love to get their jollies off by jumping in with a combo. Just make sure you will connect the attack, otherwise Zangief will be left wide open. The launcher throw lets Zangief toss the enemy into the air. To do the move, do a quarter circle back plus light punch. And it looks like this. This allows you to set up your opponent for juggles. Again. Okay. Make sure to be extra close to the enemy while executing this move. Zangief has three normal throws. Press forward and fierce punch for a suplex. Press forward and fierce kick to gnaw on the opponent. Mash on the button to bite faster. Press forward and fierce punch in mid air for overhead body toss. There we go. One more. Before we talk about Zangief Hyper Combos, let's talk about some of his command normals, which I think is highly important. Press down a fierce punch to do Zangief body press. That's how it look. And you can also do it from a super jump, of course. Press down forward and fierce kick button to do his iron claw. And of course, you know, match on the buttons to squeeze faster. Press forward plus fierce punch to do his flying fist. Yeah, so you gotta, it looks like this. Press up plus light punch twice to do a chop into a hay butt. And it looks like this. He can only do this in midair. Okay. Press back and light punch to do Zangief's elbow drop. Press down plus light punch to do his elbow dive. So yeah, you gotta be in midair when you do this. Of course. Press down plus light kick to do his double knee attack. It's another aerial move. Zangief Launcher is done by pressing down forward plus Fierce Punch. Honestly, I don't think his launcher is all that great. It comes out extremely slow. Okay, so we finally made it to Zangief Hyper Combos. This is one of my favorite super moves and is what Zangief is known for. To do the move, do a 360 motion plus both punch buttons. Here we go. Do it again.
Zangief would do two suflexes into two spinning power drivers. What makes this version of the final atomic so dangerous, Zangief would actually charge at his opponent in an attempt to grab him. So say like if you're not if you're not close enough and you do the move. Yeah, see he'll he'll actually rush in to grab the opponent with it. The second hyper combo I would like to cover is called the Ultra Final Atomic Buster. To do this move, do a 360 motion plus both kick buttons. And it looks like this. There we go. This attack definitely does more damage than the final atomic. The only real drawback is that it costs three bars to do the hyper. So before you even attempt this hyper, make sure you have enough meter in order to perform the move. There we go. And finally, the last hyper combo I would like to talk about is called the Iron Body. This is the move when Zangief turns his body into iron. To do the move, do a reverse dragon punch motion and press light kick. In this state, Zangief gains super armor similar to Colossus and he can take most attacks without flinching. But the main drawback is he loses his blocking ability. Also, while using this form, he won't be able to do a spinning lariat in mid air as well. When Zangief uses his transformation, he gains access to a new move called Vodka Fire. To do the move, do a quarter circle forward plus any punch button. And it looks like this. Light punch variation hits four times and fierce punch variation hits up to six times. Finally, the Ultra Final Atomic Buster would turn into a move called a Siberian Blizzard. Just do the commands for the Ultra Final Atomic to initiate the Siberian Blizzard. And it looks like this. Do it again. There we go. Here's what to expect when you use Zangief as an assist character. Zangief Alpha Assist will attack the enemy with a punch double lariat. His beta assist will use another punch double lariat. And his gamma assist will perform a heavy aerial Russian slam. Overall, when it comes to Zangief, it's all about closing in on the opponent so you can deliver powerful throws on them. Zangief dashing is very slow and it's really not effective for getting close to the enemy. Instead, find other ways to get close to the opponent. In order to play Zangief effectively, you must master the spinning power driver. Learn the 360 motion and also learn how to do the spinning power driver from just walking. With that being said, here are some key tips to help out with Zangief. Instead of using dash, Use Zangief Super Jump or Bashing Flat to get closer to the enemy. Besides Zangief Hypers, remember that his most important move is his Spinning Power Driver. The Spinning Power Driver does as much damage as an air combo. Once you master it using the Spinning Power Driver, replace that move with hyper versions of it whenever you can. Well, that's it for this week installment. And like I said before, please let me know in the comment section who you would like to see me cover next in the Marvel and Capcom series. I'm Dad Mishima from Dad and Kids Play 1. Hope you all have a wonderful day, and we'll see you next game. Peace out.